if you are among those who want to build a custom project, but don't have a shop, nor tools, nor a bike, then you will love this video. And even if this is not your situation, I am sure you will also be impressed by how far this project went. Because I will talk about a beautiful Ducati, which can hit 300 km per hour. And that's a feat I don't remember ever mentioning on this channel. To be honest, I never thought a custom cafe racer could go this far. Welcome to Racer TV. It's not every day we can see such an impressive project on the custom Ducatis world. I won't say it should win an originality prize. But it will definitely be a winner on following the guidelines of a pure cafe racer. I really can't see how this bike could get more powerful and lighter than it is now. And what impresses me the most is this didn't come out from a professional custom garage. This stunning machine is the creation of Ronaldo Ferretti from New York. It took him almost two years to complete it. And during this period, he still had to get through the pandemic, buying a home and planning a wedding. Interestingly, all this is the consequence of helping a friend who bought an old Honda. Those days, Ronaldo was 31 years old, and had no experience riding motorcycles. The moment he smelled the gasoline of that old Honda, he couldn't help but having good memories of his childhood in Cuba, where his father had a Java from the 1950s. The smell of gasoline was so familiar, that in that moment, he just knew he had to own a motorcycle. And nine bikes later, Ronaldo decided to fulfill his passion and create something more personal. Everything he had were ideas and some skills. The problem was, he had no tools, no bike, and no shop. But he remembered that in Cuba, necessity is the mother of invention. And so he bought a 2007 Ducati 1098, and rented a community garage, where he could use their tools. I must say, you have to be very courageous, to choose this Ducati for a cafe racer project. But curiously, when we see it naked, it looks more like a blank sheet ready to be transformed in anything we want. As you heard, the stock engine is already very powerful. But Ronaldo wanted even more. This is the list of all the performance and engine upgrades. But this is only part of the equation. If you look closer, you will see that each single piece of this bike was disassembled, refurnished, powder coated, painted, or plated. No wonder there are 250 hours of work invested on this project. But I will get to that in a minute. If you are an old follower of this channel, you are probably thinking about this one. It was presented 8 years ago. Although there are some similarities, this one is in a completely different league. Not to mention, they are based on completely different bikes. 
But what is interesting is to find out why Ronaldo's project looks much more proportional and beautiful. If you pay attention, you will notice that the general stance of each project is completely different. Notice how this line is almost completely horizontal. This might be a good choice for a more classic and vintage project. But somehow, this leaning and dynamic posture seems to work much better for this kind of approach. The golden stripes also look better on this one. Almost like they could come from the factory. Another interesting difference is the fairing. This windscreen looks better with this cut edge. And this longer section helps to make a connection with the fuel tank. Summarizing the comparisons, both projects may look similar at first sight. But as we all saw, the differences between them are huge. Contrary to what you may think, the project's main inspiration came from the classic Ducati 900 SS. But this was only after some experimentation. Ronaldo knew from the beginning that the fuel tank had to be this one, which is from a sport classic GT. He also tried several other items just to find out the best proportions for the project's approach. Only later, he finally found the right seat and the classic Rickman half fairing. It was obviously not a perfect fit. But after cutting the right sections, he finally found the perfect alignments. This subframe and the fairing's structure are clearly a custom-made job, which was only possible with the help of David, who also did the paint work. Essentially, everything was taken down to the bone. Hundreds of screws and other parts were all taken care of with powder coating and Cerakote by Luis from Higher Coats. And thanks to the help of Ducati New York, all seals, bearings, gaskets were replaced by OEM Ducati parts. Ronaldo worked on the engine, front and rear shocks, swing arm, wheels, head tube, wiring, and so on. According to some of these images, it seems he also tested it hard on track, just to be sure everything was mechanically sound. After a while, Ronaldo felt something was still missing. This was when he found that a golden frame structure would fit perfectly with the paint job scheme. The handmade gold leaf stripes and lettering were also done only on the final version of the project. And how did he remember to make these two changes in the final version? By finding this Ducati on the internet. And to put the cherry on top of the cake. Two beautiful carbon fiber wheels, with a subtle golden tone to match with all the rest. I have to admit, this bike looks absolutely immaculate. Which means Zoltan did an excellent work with these photographs. But I also can't ignore Lester from all the stunning video clips shot on the streets of New York.
the name of this awesome machine. Only came out after Ronaldo's Italian friend. Said this bike is Unica. Which means unique. But to pay homage to his mother, he decided to put the Ferretti lettering and using her handwriting. A perfect Italian name for a unique Italian motorcycle. Without a doubt, I think this is one of the most beautiful Ducatas I ever presented on this channel. For a first custom project, I can only congratulate Ronaldo for his passion and perseverance. The most interesting thing is knowing that all this could not exist if it wasn't for a simple memory of the smell of gasoline. Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you on the next video. Don't forget that next Sunday, May 21st, there will be a distinguished gentleman's ride. For those who never heard about it, it is a global custom motorcycle event, which will help raise funds for men's health. For more information, I recommend you click the link on the video description.